Hello, welcome to Current Events. This class is all about conversation. Topics, well, anything that's going on in the world or in your local town. We'll get started shortly. We're waiting for students to arrive in the class, which, here we go, we already have our first few visitors. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. No, thank you. Lady Patricia, how are you? I'm doing well, and you? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> how, how is uh, your week going? Is it good? Is it all good? Oh, <laughs> this week is, is rare for me because some friends come back to Argentina and, and they are living in Santa Barbara and, well, it's crazy. <laughs> Ah, but fun though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Um, are you looking forward to the weekend yet? No. No? <laughs> no. You're too busy. Well, stay tuned. We're going to have a fun class tonight. We're just going to have a conversation about pretty well anything that's going on. Okay? So stay tuned. Hi, hello, Raphael. Hello, Simon. How are you? I am okay. What's going on, sir? Oh, here's here's great. <laughs> Everything's under control. <laughs> oh, I'm always nervous when people say things are under control because they usually <laughs> aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, what have you, what have you been up to today, Raphael? Sorry? What are you doing today? I'm just studying. <laughs> studying? What are you studying? English, of course. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Literature? Uh, sorry? Literature? Grammar? Ah, all right. Uh, conversation. I'm, I, I was reading texts and trying my pronouns. Test wow. my pronouns. What kind of conversation were you having? Oh, I just adding American people on Skype and teaching to them Portuguese and they are they was teaching English <laughs> to me. Well that's kind of what we do here. We're going to have a conversation about, well, I don't even know yet. We'll find out shortly. Someone's going to spark a conversation. Who knows? Maybe it'll be Rene. Hello, Rene. Hello, Simon. How are you? I am, I'm sad because, uh, you know, it's, it's hot here, but the problem is that I, I live near to a... Uh, uh, like it's like a Rocky Mountains, but not called like that. We call that uh, Sierra Norte. It's like you the know Northern that. Sierras? Yes, yes. And there's fire in between two mountains, so it's it's on fire there, and it's really possible to 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 turn off the, that thing. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun, Renee. No, it's and it's you can see the smoke. Renee, really, really I've high. got a destination for you. Yes. I know you like cold weather. Oh yes. <laughs> you don't even have to get in a plane. No. You can drive or take a bus or take the train. Doesn't matter if it's sunny or rain. I've got the destination for you. Come to Canada, my friend. Well, tomorrow is going to be nice and warm of 22 degrees. Come Sunday or Saturday, it'll be down to 2 or 3. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Canada, my friend, to see snow and rain. Yeah. I don't want to see yet. any more snow. <laughs> 
like I want. Yeah, yeah. Cold weather is up there. <laughs> 34 is a little hot, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yes, it's, it's really, really hot. What does Natasha think about the heat? I think it's hot, 34. Right now, in my apartment, I have 14 degrees Celsius. That's quite pleasant. A little cold, though. Yeah. And yesterday, I had 27 degrees in the morning, so my health goes to hell. I'm going to see what temperature it is in my house. Oh, it's 64. So I don't know what 64 is in Celsius, but it's definitely 64. I think we might be around the same temperature. Why do you have a thermo thermometer in your apartment? <laughs> well, who doesn't? Well, I, I, I don't. I don't have. <laughs> well, how else do you cool and heat your house if you don't have a thermometer? Oh, why I need you one? <laughs> well, because it gets very cold in the winter and I need heat and how can I tell it to stay warm if I don't tell it what temperature to stay warm at <laughs> All right. you need a thermometer <laughs> <laughs> Natasha yes so what is 64 in Celsius I am looking for The answer. Seven, eighteen degrees. It's more hot than here. <laughs> more <warm>. I know. <laughs> I have the heat on though. Joseph. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's up? Do you listen to me? Of course I'm listening to you. I wouldn't be a very good teacher if I didn't listen to you. Do you listen to me? I think I already answered that question. All right. Where are you from, Joseph? What question? I didn't listen. Where are you I'm from, from, Joseph? I'm from Venezuela. Ah, Venezuela. So that's right next to Italy, right? I'm from Venezuela, teacher. Next to what? Italy. Next to what? Okay. Um, you've already got no, to no, another Venezuela window is... open. What you no, need to America. do is close that window because you've got a five-second delay, okay? And then just talk directly into the class. Fabio. Hello, Fabio. Hello, teacher. Happy Wednesday. Yes, I'm good. Do you know what we call Wednesday in English? Um, the temperature? No, we call it hump day. Hump day? Yeah, because here we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, ah, Friday. Yes, yes. Right here, the week is early. You have more week left until the weekend. When you hit Wednesday hump day, you only have two more days until the weekend. So we call it hump day. So happy hump day. Um, hump day offer, offer? Sorry, I don't understand your question. It's not a question. Wednesday is hump day. It's slang yes. for Wednesday. Yes, yes. Last day, Wednesday. Yes. 
Uh, let's say hello to Batty. Hello, Batty. Hello, Simon. How, How is are it you? going? That's horrible. Very bad. Why? Well, it's cold. That's awesome. It's not horrible. It's cold, but you are in the shit. <laughs> you don't know how the problem is. You don't see a problem. Let me show you the problem once again. Okay. Do you see the problem now? Um, no. I no. see something great. You don't see this problem here. Hmm. At least you temperature, cannot. water turns into ice. That's really nice. Uh, here, the water turns into vapor. So, yeah. No, this you is You want to change? Yes. Okay, awesome. Let's swap. Okay. Well, I'll FedEx my weather down to you shortly. <laughs> Great. So, what's new? What have you done? I, I bought a scanner. Scanner? Ah, okay. Good. A flatbed scanner. A what, sorry? Flatbed scanner. Uh, what is flatbed? I will show you. Let me go get a flatbed scanner. No, oh, I can't. Not if you can see it in here. See? Okay. Yeah. I For scanning see. photos, documents, papers, um, your face. I guess if you wanted to, you know. Yeah. Ah, by the way, I start my my internship. Ooh. Yes, you were saying about that last week. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind I of start. exciting. Um. Well, it was not. Uh, it wasn't what uh, I was expecting. Uh, I don't know if I should be happy or, or cry. Um, the Both. Uh, They're I paying mean, you lots, right? Remember, you said they were going to pay you a lot of money. No, they don't yeah, pay me. That's why I'd be crying. Not really. Uh, actually, um, when I talk with the the girl in the the woman. A woman in the financial part, she, she said to me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Here there is nothing, nothing to do. She was chatting on her cell phone and talking with and the other woman, woman in, in the office. Mm -hmm. then, um, so you don't have to come here every day. You know what? Better give me your, your uh, cell phone number and I will call you when I need you. I said, uh, okay. <laughs> So I don't know if, he, if I should be happy because more vacation, four months of vacation, or I should cry because, hey, the internship is in order to get experience, to know what the real laboral work looks like. And I, I would cry. <laughs> yeah. One of two things. Here are two options. I would go back to that person and say, look, you know what? I really need the experience. Is there anything you guys would really like to see done? A project that has been sitting on the shelf for a long time. Is there anything I can help you with? Or B, find another job. Well, uh, the first one, she's, uh, it's a company of the government, and she explained me that the government hasn't gone, have, hasn't given any money this year. So no money, no the financial part doesn't move, and. Ooh. To find another job, it's already, it's almost, uh, it's, uh, uh, April is almost almost done, and I have exactly four months before I start the other semester. So I don't have time to paperwork and another internship. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah. But it's a good current event. I mean, talk about current events. This is current. It's affecting your daily life. It's a great conversation to start off our class. But yeah, you, you, I don't know. You honestly, be, 
the experience is worth more than the money at this mm -hmm. point. So if you can find something else, then I would suggest considering that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What do you guys want to talk about today? I don't know, though. <laughs> you are a teacher, then. Well. <laughs> are you, Patricia, are you telling me that you can't speak unless a teacher is present? You are my teacher. I don't know. I'm a student. <laughs> so, Patricia doesn't speak unless there's a teacher present. So if her mother or father are around, she won't speak if there's no teacher present. <laughs> well, guys, this is a, a great class. You can talk about anything you want. Internships, robots taking over the world, <laughs> the new Star Trek movie, Renee's hometown. What, what do you guys want to talk about? The news. Don't forget the news. Oh, wow. We might have to do grammar. I would like to talk <laughs> oh, about... <no. laughs> All right, Patricia, go ahead. No. No, internet. <laughs> okay, let's talk about grammar then. We can do uh, the present perfect continuous if you guys would like. <laughs> No. No. Well, Renee, what, let's what talk guys... about let's talk about algebra. <laughs> algebra. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm oh, kidding. Sport, I'm kidding. Sport who practice in Canada. Do you remember when you passed the before videos, crazy that... videos about the sport? That is great. Well, I remember taking math and algebra in Canada. Yeah. We could all solve for X. And the man shampoo you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I'm serious. I can't. Okay, Renee, what's going on? Because I don't want to have to do grammar right now. But I'm ready. No, no, I guess Patricia is talking about the myth busters. Sorry, what? So myth, myth, myth busters. busters. Oh, myth busters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, what's your favorite MythBuster episode? I don't know. I don't like that, that show. <laughs> I remember. I can't remember the beginning of the, you know, the show when they were always talking about if you smoke when you are in the bathroom, that can explode. <laughs> that That's happened. an odd one. Yes. I've seen every episode. I don't remember that one. Did you just make that up? Oh no. Can I no, they they put it the a toilet. Oh a porta toilet. potty. Yes. Yes. Because of all the methane. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. Okay, because there was one where they did where you were had a cigarette at a gas station. They tested that one. Oh yeah, and what happened there? Well, they took a year off because they blew up the gas station. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Nothing happened. So it's just a an useless warning. No smoke in the. At a gas station? No, I the think there's station. fuel. So if you spill gas on the floor and you drop a cigarette, bad things are going to happen. It's pretty obvious that you shouldn't smoke at a gas station. But I think the myth is that if you receive a cell, an incoming phone, your cell phone will light the vapors and cause a fire. That one I don't believe. You guys going to watch any movies? Blockbusters coming up. May is going to be a big month for movies. No. Laura. 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 
Laura. Laura. I think you guys are asleep today. Laura is not here. Laura no here is a song in Argentina for that I see. Laura no está. Daddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. I, I don't think anybody else wants to talk, so maybe it's just me, me and you having a conversation today. Okay, for that topic. Well, how about Top Gear? Uh, I haven't watched it. I know, I know what, what it is, but I haven't watched it. Sounds like a good conversation to have, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. What do you know about Top Gear? Um, it's a TV show about cars, and um, I don't know if they have, I don't know a lot about that. Well, it's too bad, because I would have to say it's one of the most enjoyable car shows in the world. They do crazy stunts. Have you ever heard of the space shuttle? Space shuttle? Yeah. Uh, no. What is that? Okay. Well, I think the only thing to do right now, the only responsible thing to do, is to watch a video. Who wants to watch a video? Yeah, video. Yeah. Okay. Thanks okay, for showing I, up, Renee. I, I just. I just Put a video over in the in the Google, <laughs> stupid doc and in the in the Google chat. So I'm gonna paste it in the chat area, <laughs> guys. If you want to open up your YouTube player, we're gonna watch a short two-minute video. So, Batty, watch this because this is going to help introduce you to a car show, but not your average car show. Okay. That on the side of the shuttle is a real car. Okay, surely now, Batty, you must have an idea of what Top Gear is. Are you still on mute, Batty? Is everybody still watching? Yep. The video is about the airplane who just crashed. What Where did is think? driving? That's in England. Do you think it is real? Do you think that's a made up video or do you think that's a real event? I think it's false. Five? False, false, not false. true. Yes. Okay, who thinks this is a true video? Who thinks it is false? 
I think that's true. True? Yeah, it's true. That's true. They actually built a space shuttle. Okay, let's change over and talk about movies now. Has anybody heard of the new Superman movie? Yes. Yeah. I love Superman. Why do you love Superman? I love Spider-Man. I love Batman. Batman uh, returns. Hold on, let Patricia <laughs> no. finish. I have to practice my English, but that I am speaking, Simon said it. No, no, go ahead. Um, what were you saying? No, Superman, um, he wants the kryptonite because he has energy, you know? Yeah. He is Superman. But why do you like Superman? Oh, because Superman is... Because Super Superman is Superman. It's a... have a power. He's got a lot of power, and I think you're thinking... Have extraordinary you. power. No power. Have extraordinary power. Extraordinary power. Do you think Superman is cute? Yes. Yes. Well, Laura, Laura likes Hancock. Yeah, Hancock. <laughs> Hancock is, as we all know, is a drunk Superman. We have Superman, and then we have Superman on drugs. That's Hancock. Man, he loves the drugs. We talk about that, I think. Yes, we had a debate on that. Yeah. Well, now, Laura, do you think you would enjoy The Man of Steel or the new Superman, which is called The Man of Steel? Yeah, for sure. I think I, I would enjoy it. It's not my favorite kind of movie, but, well, it would be good. Okay. Fabio, what do you think? Do you like Superman? Yes, yes, I like Excellent. Why do you like Superman? <laughs> um, because 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 uh, the Superman is strong, uh, is um, the ears, and um, and uh, uh, take her to some peoples. I. I like him. Uh, Superman is 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 not my my preferred. My uh, have my preference, but I I I watch him. Okay, so what's your favorite? That if you don't like Superman, what do you like? What kind of movies? I. I watched the um, uh, last uh, week uh, here in Brazil uh -huh. uh, the the move on, uh, about the uh, United States. I, I don't know we, uh, the uh, the names English uh, this um, uh, the. Uh, Invasion, invasion uh, on, on the uh, White Houses. The invasion of the White House. I don't ever remember there being it. Well, there was a. S okay, the British came uh, and we burnt down uh, the White House, but. English uh, uh, have uh, have a very awful name, probably. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember the reason. I think they came up to Toronto and they burned it down. So the British said, "Well, okay, fine, we'll come burn yours down." Now is that was about two hundred years ago. Actually, two hundred and one year years ago. Let's get back to Man of Steel. You guys want to watch the trailer for Man of Steel? Yeah, I know I do. Point. Renee, get ready for this. I think it's going to be very powerful. Once again, open up your YouTube application. Here we go.
teacher. What application? Well, here it is an S, she said. Kind of way of busting his chops. So, what do you think of that movie? Is that going to be worth seeing? Raphael, would you like to mean would you like to see Man of Steel? Oh, I was offline. I return it now. Oh dear. Well, let's go talk to Natasha. Then, Natasha, would you like to see Man of Steel? I'm not a big fan of Superman. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but I will watch this movie because I like superheroes. So. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, Hollywood thanks you. <laughs> Unless you're going to download illegally, then Hollywood doesn't thank you and would wish you wouldn't do that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I were watching the mo in the theater. I love go to theater, so I don't really download in illegal. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Do you want to go see Man of Steel? Well, uh, I had an. I had not watched this trailer, but because uh, the last uh, movies of Superman, uh, no, I didn't like it. But this one, it it looks like different. It's like he more like more human. The the part of him before being Superman, and I think that it could be good. I prefer um, more Batman or Iron Man. But yeah, I I think that I would watch. I will watch Superman, and in cinema, of course, it's it's better than in the computer. Well, I I think the last Superman movie was very 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 boring. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I thought, wow, they could have done this in ten minutes. It was a really boring movie. 
So what's this other movie you're talking about? Uh, I think Natasha is talking about it. Olympus Has Fallen. What's that about, Natasha? That's the name of the movie who other person talk about invasion to how wise. Sorry, invasion to White House. The name in English, the movie is Olympus Has Fallen, but I don't watch this movie. Is it cheesy? It sounds like it could be a little cheesy. I don't know. I don't see neither the trailer. Kind of not your thing? Not is my type of movie. No, I, I don't know. It sounds like another terrorist attack on the White House. It's, I would rather see an invasion from aliens than another terrorist attack movie. You know, kind of bored of all those movies where there's another terrorist attack. Yeah. What's new going on in the world, Raphael? What's new in your part of the world? Oh, I have been worked <laughs> very much. I... I don't, I, now I don't have time to to see the news, but I saw what happened in, in Boston. Did you see? What? No. What happened in uh, Boston? The bombs. Didn't you see? No. No. Oh. I've uh, <laughs> actually been pretty busy lately. <laughs> I, I heard there was an accident or something in Boston, but I I didn't I haven't seen oh, the news. I see the the just the the first page of the journals of the news, and I I don't know what happened yet. <laughs> I asked somebody wow. somebody know? Well, yeah. Does anybody uh, know what happened? Anybody yeah. knows? I Two bombs exploded in the marathon of Boston. Oh, wow. A marathon, huh? Yeah. The end of the marathon, two bombs exploded and, and hurt people. Some people die, a uh, child with 80 years old, and a lot of people go to hospital and need to amputate his um, legs. That's really sad yeah no doubt I mean that's that's a horrible thing Teacher. yes here in, here in Venezuela for the new election or the new president yeah uh, there is there is what there were more died people than in every moment in the history of Venezuela. Well, how, so in Venezuela you're going through a change of government? I, I didn't quite hear. Are you saying there's a change in government in Venezuela? Uh, the last government was Chavez. Yes, yes, because Chavez died. Did you know that? No, because you're breaking up a little bit. I don't know much to uh, start from the beginning. No se te escucha bien, Joseph. Chavez is died. Oh yes, uh, President Chavez. Yes, I remember hearing that he had died. So you just had an election. Chavez, President Chavez is died. So what's there is a, uh, the, uh, it was an election then maybe uh, after Monday, but uh, it was a uh, it was a uh, what do you say fraud? In English, uh, Patricia. Cheat. Yes, I said, but uh, we can hear you very well because your connection is very slow. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very hard to understand. Patricia, do you know much about the story that he's talking about? I don't know. Yes, it's very terrible. But, what happened? Uh, I, 
No, it's a it's terrible because you know the people made the sport. No, it's very bad. I don't know. Talk about more. Okay. Um, the Chavez died. Then there there was uh, new elections. Um, there was the the president that uh, the vice president of Chavez that was gonna take the place of Chavez and the opposite. Then uh, this guy Maduro, the the vice president, ex vice president of Chavez, uh, yes. he's crazier than Chavez. Uh, he in in talking to the to the people, he said, "I was in my house and suddenly appeared a little bird, and the bird said." And I said, <laughs> and the bears answer me, <laughs> oh, it's, the, it's Chavez in the, in the beer. Hey, what president or candidate to president is going to say something like that? Not one that wants to get elected. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, there was the, the elections. Um, he won, apparently. But there are pictures, there are photos that show something you know the 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 votes uh, where people put their their vote uh, yeah there mm -hmm. are bots of that uh, with the paper on the street and fought and photos and said that proof that he 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 cheat yeah um there is a revolution in venezuela because of that uh, people protesting on the street a lot of Deaf people, um, yeah. Uh, so that's it. And the opposite said something like, "I want to set this your victory because you are a cheater, and I'm gonna prove it. And we are gonna count the the votes, and it have to to uh, to match with the the system what the system say and what the real voters are the votes real votes are. So that's it. The commotion and the problem there. Wow. I had no idea that was going on. The problem, the problem is that CNA, the organized to uh, make the votes, the count the votes, they are with the president because they are chavistas. And right now there is people in. Oh, I think we've lost you again. You know, uh, I think that Venezuela needs, really, really needs a, a change because the economy of Venezuela, it's, it's, ter it's terrible. Um, for example, um, with the money that I can buy a computer here, I could buy two computers over there. Um, and Venezuela, it's something like uh, the change of currency. It's stopped it because of that, and it, there there is a crisis. Um, and with a president like that, uh, and you know, Venezuela wants to follow the the, the communist thought of of Cuba. Um, um, there is no big private pri private company in Venezuela because. Um, the ex-president Chavez just arrived something like, okay, I'm going to take the control of this company. And yeah, he took the control of the company. And that's the reason why um, uh, there is no company that want to invest in Venezuela and decrease. There is a big crisis, economic crisis over there. Wow. I Now, a while ago, I remember reading when... V uh, Chavez was there. I thought he was turning things around, and were things better at one point, or has it always been rough under Chavez? Uh, nothing has been better. Also, there is no um, freedom to express what you want. The the media, uh, the president controlled the media. Chavez controlled the media. Um, in Venezuela, there was there 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 are just the the channels that are in favor to to the president the the power the power. Um, there was uh, some some channels some TV, uh, you know uh, 
and he closed it just that and he have control of all the big company in the country wow i i you know i had don't have studies it, it was a driver it was a driver boss. he doesn't have any studies in his life he doesn't study he doesn't in the past was elected to something and right now he did fail to be in the uh, to be a president Okay, let me talk to some other students uh, to see what they know my, about this. Renee, sorry, excuse me a second, please. Renee, have you heard about this? Yes, yes, it's very the same that happened uh, six months yeah. ago in Mexico. Right. Um, do you get a lot of news about this in Mexico? Yes, yes, of course. And mm -hmm. what does it, from your point of view, what do you what do you think of this story? What what do you think the outcome will be? I don't know. I really hope that, that the people from Venezuela wake up because um, in here we just stay stay in our houses and continue our lives even when we know that our president it's not the best. It's uh, people who it's completely stupid because uh, you know uh, we have a a fair book fair in here, mm -hmm. and we invite a lot of countries just to to show that we read something that we don't. And they they he wanted to to show to start the campaign right there. So if you go to a book fair or fairy, I don't remember how to say it. Book fair. Yeah, uh, you book fair. You you go there. It's obviously that. One of the reporters are going to ask you about books. So they they ask him what uh, what which one are your three books that mark your life? And he said, "Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I think." And it started to 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 try to think a lot. A lot of them said, "The Bible. It's one." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read the Bible, but not all of the all of it. <laughs> but some some pages that shows me a lot. And then he speak about one book, and change the author of that book, and he said, and I remember the name of that book. But uh, there's another book who contradict uh, was the opposite of that that book I'm talking about. But he didn't remember the the title of the book, and was like. What really? I can say just uh, I read the Little Mermaid or something like that. <laughs> but he was like, uh, 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 I don't know, I don't know, maybe that one. And it's a completely ignorant, and we we were just upset about that. But suddenly the, the, the things are calmed down, and nobody cares about that. And I don't know. It seems like it's going to be a hard. Uh, Hard period. Well, Renee, I think a lot of people dislike their leaders. Um, but disliking your leaders is one thing. Having violence and um, a lot of the tough things that are happening in Venezuela, that's, that's rough. Yeah, we have that in here. Uh, we have the people beating in the streets, and the police are, are not, you know, if you are just walking on the streets and and doing a manifestation, uh, complaining about the government, you can do it, and they were peacefully doing that. But the police were just fighting uh, bullet gun, uh, bullet uh, with plastic, plastic bullets, mm -hmm. like like gun. Yeah, but those hurt. And people, yeah, people, yeah, a lot of, and it is the same that is happening right now. People in Venezuela in the streets just beating because one people said you know you cannot do that but it's my right to do that it's on my constitution it's a constitutional thing I can do that but people are like no no you cannot do that because you are um, how can you say that 
your um, it is it is a calm calm place, and then you are just making noise and disturbing people. Uh, you're disturbing the peace. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes, that. And and it's like like that. A lot of people in jail and are innocent just because they're just uh, sitting there and the streets and the police were beating them just because they don't want the government. And it's it is the same in, in Venezuela. People are complaining about elections, and also we know that our elections are not good. Was fail like that? They, people buy the elections, and it's it is the same in there. So has it like always been community. like that, Rene? Because I remember years ago, uh, a Mexican president, Vicente Fox. Yes. And we we he was the only Mexican president that's made the news up here a lot. And he seemed like a pretty normal guy. How were things back then? It was, it was really good because you know we have more, just one party in a lot of years. I don't know, like seventy years in the power, and suddenly this one it was a new president, a new party, and he won. So he did really, really good job. Even he was stupid too, but. But he did a good job, really. And the next one was the guy Calderon, was the guy who decided to fight to the cartels, yeah, the drugs, and that that, that started to to get angry the the drug dealers in here, and that, that started a, a war. That we call that a narco war. Yeah, I've heard about that, and I heard that that, that has gotten to be, um, well, it's very vicious. Mm -hmm. And it's you don't want to be n anywhere near any of those um, disputes. Yeah, <laughs> I never been in one of them. But... No, you don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I saw videos on YouTube, and all the people were just laying on the floors, listening to the bullets. <laughs> it wasn't like a war. Yeah, uh, it's it's horrible. It, it's it amazes me t that this actually goes on and why we all can't get along together, you know, in our own towns and countries. Um, Natasha, what do you think about all this? I think that I hate politics. Politics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, every country exists a career people in politics, business, and everybody takes your money and the, the wrong things exist. Good people in politics, but in Brazil, don't have good examples for this. We have so many guys in the power who are, let me see the word, convicted by to be a corrupt people and they are in the power and the population don't do anything to take these people the power and this is unacceptable for me and I can do anything to change the situation here. So it's complicated to talk about politicians. Well, I, I, I hate politics so much I don't even vote anymore. I'm just tired of it all. It's it's very frustrating. Now, normally I, we don't get into darker subjects like this, but I think it's important every now and then because we need to practice that vocabulary. Um, but yeah, politics, uh, there are some good people in politics that try to change the world for the better, and then there are those that are just in it because, well, they can get money from it. It yes. is, yeah, it's sad but true. Laura, what do you think? Mm, well, I, I really don't think much about it because uh, it's, I don't know, it, make me feel angry. I just 
Yeah. Because most of them and corrupt people that are very selfish, just a few that you can count with your finger. So I just try to don't think it that because it's, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me angry. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I really don't listen to the news or watch the news much anymore. It's mostly all negative stuff. It's mostly all violence or death, and I got tired of listening to that. I still pay attention to the news, but I have an app on one of my smart devices where I get to pick the news, or I'll pick technology news, or I'll pick travel news, and I, I kind of tune out all the other stuff, and I must say, life is a little more peaceful. Um, but, you know, when somebody tells me there was a bombing in Boston, I really don't know much about it. But then again, do I really want to hear such sad news and bring me down? I choose no. But tomorrow we're going to talk about some happier subjects um, starting at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to have a movie class. We're going to revisit blockbuster movies like Man of Steel, Star Trek, um, Iron Man 3, all the new movies that are coming out and why we like the movies, the type of genres that we enjoy. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And of course, one hour after that, we have a debate class, which is kind of more of a conversation class, but we try to have two different sides. We pick light topics that's easy to argue both sides easily. Do you guys have any questions before we end the class? We've got still got about three minutes left. No. None? We can play Where is your dog? Oh, uh, smokers? Yeah. That's what uh, Juan Carlos calls my dog, Smokers. Uh, she's downstairs. I think it's actually time to take her out for a walk. You want to go, you guys, want to see her again? Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so let me go find Smokers. But it's a girl. Why, why is it Smoker? <laughs> well, I don't call her Smokers. Renee, why do we call her Smokers? I have no idea. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember. Okay, it's dark in here. I got to turn on some lights. Oh, I hear a dog. <laughs> hey, look, look, the pe your people want to say hi to you. Your friends. Yeah. So, do you want to go for a walk? You want to go? Here, come on. Come on. There you go. Run. Save the world. No, wait, it's not too cold. Get back out there. Go, go, Phoebe. You, uh, dog you have, a, you have yeah. a great security guard. Yeah, it, it's so cold out here, she doesn't even want to come outside. <laughs> so, let's take a look. Here, show you my... I don't know if she's... Very boring. It's Canada. Canada is very boring. It's so dark. Wow. Well, really? Renee, it gets dark when the sun sets, you know? <laughs> yeah, but at this time, it's just one hour difference. <laughs> it's nine o'clock, though, here. I know why do you sometimes have a sick, Simon, because you. Get out your car, your house in the shirt. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that, Patricia. Can you say it one more time, please? Nothing, nothing. No, it's okay. Nothing important, no worries. No, well, a lot of what we talk about in class is not always important. It's a, it's a means to spark conversation, to get you guys to practice speaking, because really, it's not about me speaking. You guys need to speak more, which is why I try to have more time for a discussion and conversation. Speak. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. 
that's how you'll get better. If you just want to listen, you can watch TV. You can download movies and TV shows. Oh, Renee's showing us his outdoors. Oh, he's day there. Uh, just one hour difference. <laughs> That's why I was like, what? Mexico? <laughs> Good. Yes, oh, yeah. yeah, but Renee, you know what? An hour ago and it was sunny here too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, you knucklehead. <laughs> what time is it, Renee? 8, 8 p.m. Really? Yes. <laughs> In about a month from now, it won't get dark till about 10 o'clock. Well, it, the sun sets around 9, but it doesn't 